Hey guys, I recently visited some of the best known beaches in the state of Oaxaca. I wanted to share my impressions. In this review, we'll talk about the beach, the town, food, and lodging. So buckle up and come along for the ride. Our trip starts in the city of Oaxaca. My plan was to take Highway 131 to Puerto Escondido and from there head east along the coast. After a six hour drive from Oaxaca on a fairly gnarly road, I arrived in Puerto Escondido. The city, which is known for surfing, has a population of about 30,000. The main beach in Puerto Escondido is called Zicatela. This is the site of a surfing competition in November. Unfortunately, a strong rip current makes this beach somewhat dangerous for swimming. The city has a wide range of food options, from typical Mexican and Oaxacan fare to, of course, seafood and a variety of international restaurants. Puerto Escondido is mostly downscale and rustic, with several small and mid-sized hotels. I stayed at the Airbnb shown here. Head east on the coastal highway for about one hour, and you'll arrive at the turnoff to Masunte. Just east of Mazunte is another town called San Bernanillo. Together, these towns have a population of around 2,500. The beautiful beaches of these two towns, plus the laid back vibe of this area, checked a lot of boxes for me. Food wise, there was of course seafood and Mexican options, as well as artisanal bakeries and coffee shops. In terms of lodging, there were several small hotels and rentals. I chose this Palapa style room in a small hotel. For obvious reasons, a growing number of Europeans and North Americans are buying up real estate in this area. Travel east on the main road in Masunte. In about half an hour, you'll arrive at Playa Cipulite. Cipolite is known as being Mexico's first and only legal public nude beach. Cipolite has a variety of restaurants from Mexican to international cuisine, as well as vegan options. I first visited Cipolite in the 70s when it was known as a hippie beach. Today, the town still attracts those drawn to the hippie lifestyle. Attitudes about drug use, especially marijuana, are pretty relaxed. The beach in Cipolite is just over a mile long and is bordered by several hotels. So if walking down the beach, Culo Pelado, is your thing, then Playa Cipolite is the beach for you. During my trip, I opted not to stay in Cipolite. I felt I'd be too embarrassed. Rounding out our list of popular Oaxacan beach destinations are the bays of Huatulco. Tulco is comprised of nine bays and numerous small coves stretching along 26 kilometers of jagged coastline. From Cipolite, the one and a half hour drive to Matulco takes you through Puerto Arne, then east on the coastal highway. Developed by the same tourist bureau that developed Cancun, this area has a population of over 50,000. 
Otsuko has a variety of accommodations from condo rentals, small hotels, luxury villas, and resorts. Otsuko has a wide variety of seafood as well as traditional foods. Local seafood is available for purchase at most nearby beaches. Watuku's combination of breathtaking beaches, culinary and lodging options, make it an ideal vacation spot for couples and families. In summary, the beaches of Oaxaca offer a variety of vacation destinations for those seeking to experience the beauty of Mexico's Pacific Coast. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you out on the open road.